Welcome back, Tiger Sports fans, for our eighth episode of The Spring. I'm your host, Whitney Wells. And I'm Margaret Booker. And we have a lot to get you caught up on after a busy week. The men's track and field team placed fourth out of nine teams in the Indiana D3 meet that DePaul hosted. Matt Rowley placed second in the 1,500-meter run. Ford Baker won the 10K. Bailey Scott won the 3,000-meter 3, steeplechase. And Bennett DeCourcy placed second in the discus throw. The women's track and field team came in second out of eight teams in the Indiana D3 meet. The Tigers had some standout performances, including Emma Jacobs, who placed second in the 800, Sophie Porter, who won the 10K, Alexis Kagan, Ava Knight, Celie Stoffregan, and Emily Loera, who won the 4x4, and Emily Loera also won the long jump. The men's and women's team traveled to the Rose Holman, ha, traveled to Rose Holman for the twilight meet this weekend. The men's lacrosse team lost to Oberlin 21-9, and Beckett Tasker had five of the nine goals. They were beaten by Denison 17-3. They traveled to Hiram College this weekend for a 1 p.m. game. The women's lacrosse team lost 13-6 to Ohio Wesleyan and lost 15-8 against number two seed in conference Denison. They will travel to Wooster on Saturday for a 12 p.m. game and look to improve their conference record. Their overall record is 9-3. The baseball team had a busy last week playing Ohio Wesleyan three times with one game being canceled. They won 10-5 and 6-5, then lost 13-3. In their big win, Michael Vallone recorded seven strikeouts, and Hunter Herbrick recorded three runs for the Tigers. In a doubleheader against Denison, they lost the first 13-1 and lost the second 14-10. They will take on College of Worcester over the weekend at home for, their, for a doubleheader. The first game is at noon. The softball team has had a busy past week as well with two conference doubleheaders. They started last week with a win against Wooster in their doubleheader. They won 9-4 and 12-4. They were led on the mound by Megan Asher and Kirsten Brayton who combined for eight strikeouts. At Oberlin, they split the games losing 4-5 and then winning 6-4. The Tigers will take on Wittenberg at home this weekend for a doubleheader. The first game is at 11 and the second game is to follow. The women's golf team placed 15th out of 19 teams last weekend at the Kathy Nienpagan Spring Fling. This weekend, they traveled to Decatur, Illinois for the Take Back the Night Challenge hosted by Millican University. They will play Friday and Saturday. Good luck to everyone competing. The women's tennis team lost 8-1 against Kenyon over the weekend, but had an insane bounce back win against Ohio Wesleyan. The Tigers won 9-0 and were led by Valerie Dowardy, who won 6-0 in her singles match. The Tigers travel to Denison this weekend for the quarterfinals of the NCAC tournament. They will take on Wittenberg. Good luck, ladies. The men's tennis team defeated the Little Giants of Wabash in a 7-2 smackdown. Two out of three sets of doubles partners won, and five out of the six single matches were won by DePaul. Thomas Partridge and Jake Lewisell led the way, both winning 6-1. The Tigers lost to Kenyon 7-2 over the weekend, but bounced back and destroyed Ohio Wesleyan 9-0. This puts the Tigers at a 9-7 record overall in 4-2 four four in conference play. They start NCAC tournament play Friday, April 28th. Good luck to the men's tennis. Now, now on to Joey Webster for the TSN Game of the Week. This episode's Game of the Week features the men's golf team. They traveled west to Decatur, Illinois to compete in the Take Back the Night Challenge, which was hosted by Millican University. DePaul finished 8th shooting a 597 as a team through two rounds. Senior James Gilmore led the way for the Tigers, shooting a 145 for the tournament, which was good for eighth overall. His 69 in the second round was the lowest score of the tournament. DePaul will now set their sights on the NCAC championship, which will take place on April 28th through April 30th. Our very own Griffin Albright had the chance to sit down with golf team member Carl Gilmore to get his thoughts on the tournament. Hey guys, welcome back to another interview here on TSN. This is Griffin Albright here today. I have with me golfer Carl Gilmore. Carl, thank you for being on the show. Thanks for having me. So I just want to start talking about you guys' most recent tournament. You guys went up to Decatur, Illinois this weekend to take on, or just to play in the Take Back Tonight Challenge. Tell me how you guys did, you know, uh, how'd you guys play as a team? Um, the first day the team got off to a pretty uh, good start. Um, and then the second day we didn't do as well as we wanted to, but my brother James had a had the best score in the entire field that day with a little 69. So right, yeah, I was gonna say that was, that was awesome to see. Played a really good uh, second day. Um, and speaking of James, 
pretty cool you guys are playing on the same team as brothers. How, how do you feel about that? Do you guys like playing with each other, or do you guys fighting with each other every day? Yeah, um, in high school, it was it was, it was was really cool to finally be on you know the same team as him because I watched him play freshman year, and then we had a lot of success with each other in high school, and it's, it's kind of, it's, it's actually a lot of fun and pretty cool to play college golf with my brother, so. That's awesome to hear, because, I mean, I know if I were playing with my brother, I'd probably hate him. Yeah. So it's good to hear you guys have a good relationship. Yeah, we do. We do. Um, so, like you said earlier, you guys didn't play as well as you might have wanted to last weekend. So does that give you a little extra motivation going into this weekend in the NCAC uh, Conference Championship? Yeah, for sure. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure what the uh, lineup's going to be looking like and who's traveling to conference. But uh, I know that the coaches will put together the best possible team, and. Uh, Hopefully that we hopefully we can have some some success over there. Right. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing how that goes for y'all. Absolutely. Last thing I want to ask you about: pretty cool moment you had against Wabash uh, the other day. You sunk the game-winning putt. Take me through that, and you know how you played leading up to the putt. Yeah. Um, that morning I found out uh, who I was playing against, and it was their uh, one guy, and my coach wanted me to, you know take them on and see what I can do. And I played really well that day. And we were both heading into the final hole all square. And uh, I sunk a nice little birdie putt to beat him. And the whole team was up on the hill watching. It was pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's probably something you'll never forget. Uh, pretty pretty cool memory right there. Uh, congratulations on that. Good luck heading in this weekend. Appreciate you being on the show. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Griffin. And that'll do it for this episode of Tiger Sports Nation. Once again, I'm Whitney Wells. And I'm Margaret Booker. And as always, roll, roll tigs. tigs.